Hey everyone and welcome back to another vlog with me, Seppi. Wait, I can't remember how I do my intro is. Anyway, welcome back to another vlog. Let me put you on something because yes, I still don't have one of those tripody things that I wanted and every time I go on Amazon, I always want to order one and I don't, okay. And in case you guys were wondering if I had actually made my bed, no I didn't. I just got a cover from the bedroom next door and put it on my bed so that you guys won't realise just how messy I am without my mum here and mum when you watch this I know you're gonna kill me but by then you'll be in London so one sec let me grab a hair clip so oh my god okay let's do this so I don't end up looking really gross okay I look gross but it doesn't matter I am heading out to Mia I'm going with my friends and we're just gonna chill um I can't really be bothered for like doing anything like super I don't know like something that takes a lot of effort I CBA for like clubbing and all of that when I went to Milan and we went clubbing the next day I was like don't go clubbing for ages Seppi CBA for that um but yeah I'm just gonna put my makeup on and then you guys will see me dramatically look much better than this also, there is a bunch of clothes on my floor because I went shopping yesterday and then as I was going to pack them away, I realized I haven't done like a try-on haul in ages. So I'm going to do a try-on Zara and this Topshop top shop haul for you guys. I also got some stuff from Opoly, so I might just include that all into one thing. Oh, you know, just the standard move. What should I call this? The hand jiggle, the whatevs, the, I don't know, come up with a name for it and let me know. So we ended up keeping the horrible hair clip in because my hair is wet and there's nothing I can do about it. This crop top is so beautiful. I just got it from Opoly and this Zara Bomba is also new. I just got. I'm basically ruining my try on haul but who cares. These hoop earrings are old from Bershka. Jazzed up with some gold jewellery and these H&M pants I literally got on sale at Christmas time for $7.99. And I love this outfit. I just love the whole vibes. I'm also wearing it with a vintage Gucci saddle. Um, this belonged to my sister's soul, still belongs to her, I just stole it. I can't really be bothered for like, doing anything like super... Here we go, what about you? Are you okay here? I'm good. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Something that takes a lot of effort, I CBA for, like clubbing and all of that. Okay, so before I start talking, oh my god, my voice, I sound like a man. Before I start talking, I beg, look at the crop top that I cropped. What is this? I don't know what it is either, don't worry. Um, but there's no one at my house to see, apart from you guys. <laughs> so technically everyone sees. Um, wow, look at my eyes. Can you guess from my eyes that I didn't sleep much last night? I literally have emptied the whole jar of eye cream under my eyes. I obviously ended up going clubbing. Obviously, like as in I did not just give you a whole spiel before it about how I don't want to go clubbing. I CBA for that life. I hated it in Milan. No, I went clubbing and I'm not even going to deny it. I had a sick time, like an awesome time, like amazing. So yeah, obviously I'm not going to have like full on vlog in the club because A, your camera will probably fall and smash. B, no one's up for like talking to a camera in a club it's just no one is you know people can barely talk to each other um but it was really cool i went to a club called tramp with my friend we ended up going to shisha and i don't know why um this past week i've been feeling a bit down and i haven't really been out much and stuff and um i really wanted to i don't know about you guys but when i'm down i try and get go through like an effort to try and change my mood um because I feel like in my opinion if you let that mood continue then like it's really easy to let that mood continue if you're feeling down like you can easily like sit at home like last night I really could have sat at home and done nothing like I had plans with no one but I actually like made plans with people like I method actually my friends messaged me both of them but I made plans with them and I was like you know what like go out and take your mind off of everything by the way I'm sorry that my head is tilted this way it makes my headache better um <laughs> basically I was just like you know what like go out and enjoy yourself and take your mind off things like just talking to friends will distract you um so when we first went out to shisha um 
I just didn't really have a good time. Like, my friends weren't really, like, gelling well. Like, they didn't really know each other. Um, they weren't really gelling well. And, like, I just wasn't enjoying it. And then one of my friends was like, look, I'm going clubbing after. Why don't you come? And she told me before on the phone. And I was like, nah, I don't want to go clubbing. That was when I get, was giving you guys this whole spiel. And then afterwards, I was just like, look, my I live around the corner from here. I'm going to go home and change and let's go clubbing. And I'm not going to lie, I'm so glad I did because it just, I don't know, it took my mind of things, changed my mood and I had a really good time to take this conversation downstairs because I'm so thirsty right now. I need water. <sighs> yep, there's still like more junk on my bed. Welcome to my life. This is pretty much how I live. I live in my own mess. Do you want to say hi to my vlog? I am wearing clothes, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, it looks like I'm naked. But no, you know. it doesn't look like you're naked. My friend's youngest son, who's seven, proposed to me yesterday. And both, yeah, him and the middle one were like, you're my girlfriend now. <gasps> and they gave me, you know, they used to ring Harry bows. One of them gave me that. The other one gave. I feel robbed me, that I didn't like have this experience. Oh my experience. god! The other one kept giving me these heart-shaped fruit pastel. Okay, the tragedy that my sock is like fully coming off. Hey, this is Libby. We're literally driving one minute. We're basically driving somewhere really close, and people, oh, two guys, are fully watching us vlog. They're kind of cute, you know. Wait, <laughs> let's get them in the back shot. See? Nah, not for you. Look there. back at the vlog. <laughs> Look back at it. Wait, is this gonna buzz until I wear my seatbelt? There's no point. We're we're, yeah, we're literally two minutes away. Um, I haven't seen Libby in two weeks. <laughs> we have a lot to catch up on in two weeks, in my oh, opinion. Yeah, a lot of stuff's happened. Yeah, and also uh, another one of our friends was meant to join us. Oh my god, this buzzing thing is gonna piss me off. She couldn't make it today, so it's just the two of us. So poor Libby is stuck with me. And I made her drive to my area because I cannot. Someone <laughs> I'm not hungover. At Oh, I literally, you know, like praise the Lord when I woke up without a hangover. Um, but yeah, we just chill in. She's actually putting her shoes on outside the car. <laughs> Don't hit your head. <laughs> Say hello to my. Oh, and you're wearing. You actually are wearing dungarees. I thought you were joking. Oh my god. <laughs> she left her car keys in the car. I shouldn't have worn these shoes. I can't even see the camera. <laughs> Okay, let me go two steps ahead and then <laughs> I can get us both in. Okay, perspective. So, tips for hiding a hangover. Number one, big sunglasses. Number two, a jazzy outfit so people don't look at your face. Three, did I mention covering your eyes? Oh yeah, big sunglasses. <laughs> Four, don't hold your bottle of water with you. Otherwise it's just too big. Five, look at my camera away because I was like, sorry to be a pain. You are a pain. Hello. You're just a pain. Uh, this is a really Hello. weird breakfast combination. <laughs> Why does your plate look bad? My plate looks delish, I'm not even gonna deny. Like, how scrummy it looks. I'm gonna pretend this is a breakfast muffin. <laughs> Basically, they had no bagels, so she's having to butter. Who is this person sitting in my car? It's so good from Persia and Bunny I can literally, after my last video, I can safely say I can sing along to any song and not embarrass myself because my last video was so embarrassing. But I loved it. I didn't care how embarrassing it was because you only live once. Um, and if you guys don't know what my last video was, or this vlog might come a bit late. Um, but the video that I'm talking about is the dancing Persian to English music video. It's so good. If you haven't checked it, go and check it. It's really good. <laughs> Promo right here. We can drive to, I don't know, a park or something. Basically, <laughs> we are walking, strolling through London. We got chai from Faya in James Street. And um, we're walking, this is Wigmore Street. I love the architecture of London and we're just appreciating the architecture and Sogan was telling me about a book she's reading and um, how important it is to be grateful for just like the things in your life that you take for granted like hot water even um, and I was telling Sogan one time about two years ago we had like a problem with our boiler random I'm saying this on the vlog 
but we didn't have hot sun in the We didn't have hot water for almost two weeks. Like it was a nightmare. I'm not gonna roast my um, that way. gas company, but Fittish Hass, you know who you are. Um, you guys suck. Um, so anyway, when we got when we finally got our hot water back, um, I was just like, my mum, me and my mum just kept saying like, you know, thank God for the basic stuff like a bed, hot water, family, like everything. Nah. Yeah, exactly. How cute is Sogan's jumper? She just got it from Victoria's Secret. Show us. I like your whole outfit. I, I, I love it without this because it's not like really on it. And your backpack. On she looks super top. cute. I'm wearing a top from H&M in Milan. I am wearing jeans from Topshop and my chain is a Giuseppe and my bag is vintage Gucci that belonged to Seoul. I showed you guys I was using it last night. So, I'm with Hannah and I bumped into her outside Selfridges and and I thought that, you know, you should say hi to my vlog. Hi! Make sure you check out her Instagram. What's your Instagram? It's at Hannah the amputee. Yeah, amazing. So, I just got back home and I'm just in a cosy jumper because I feel a bit cold now. It was really warm and sunny in the morning but when we went for our walk it was actually chilly which was weird. Um, but I'm gonna have dinner now, and I don't know what I'm gonna have. I literally just wanna chill right now. I just wanna sit down, watch a bit of YouTube videos, which I love to do, and um, some modern family maybe, and plan my studying for tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. Um, I am gonna be studying the whole day in the library, probably on Tuesday as well. Um, but there's some stuff I want to do on um, one of the wards before my placement ends and I probably haven't mentioned, I have mentioned this I think in one of my vlogs but my last five weeks have been on an obstetrics and gynaecology placement and I've actually really loved it um, I've, that watching babies being born, um, especially natural deliveries is like one of the most incredible things you'll ever see and yeah it's scary like it's it, as in it's scary to see someone like in that much pain but literally as soon as the baby comes out even i feel like i forget about the pain like and i'm i've like witnessed it and the, i didn't even get to take a baby home um so it is honestly like the most incredible thing ever i did find the topic really easy to pick up and i feel like yeah, I didn't really struggle at all. Like everything was really easy to understand and I feel like after like a week or two I really got the hang of what it was that was the main concerns um, like in gynecology and obstetrics and it was really amazing. And before this placement I always used to say when I have kids I wanna have a C-section. Oh my God, there's no way I'm going through the pain of labor but I think I've changed my mind after this placement and I'm willing to have a natural delivery of my babies future babies um, with the husband that is currently yet to find me. When you do find me, watch this vlog, future husband. What am I saying now? I'm trying so much breeze. Okay, um, but I'm going to end this vlog here. Love you guys so much. Thank you for all the support and I'm always receiving like the sweetest messages either in my Instagram direct. Oh my god, this lighting makes my skin look so bad. I say it every single time. Thank you guys so much for the sweetest messages I get in my Instagram direct. I try and reply to like as many as I can, but um, if I miss you, I have not done it by purpose and I'm really sorry. And you have to bear in mind, sometimes I get like loads in one day and it's hard to reply um, and then they just go down. Um, but if maybe if you tweet me, that will be a, a that much better way for me to reply to you. And I always reply to my comments. Or at least I thumb them up if it's not repliable. So I read them all. So thank you guys so much for all your sweet messages. Um, don't forget to check out my socials. My Instagram is Persian Bunny. My Twitter is The Persian Bunny. And my Snapchat is Sepi Samai. Love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.